Hello, everyone. We're back. Let's go beat up Patea. What fucking chapter am I on? Chapter 6. Are there any side quests here? Let's look. There are not. Alright, we're good. Escape. We should save our game, actually. So, Pete, what do you think of this game so far? Give me your honest opinion. Pete, can we, like, use your name as a pun more often? Like, instead of opinion, can we say opinion? It's the enemy! I won't lose! Here. It's the enemy! <laughs> oh, shit. Escape! Shit, buddy. Yes, they're here. Don't let I'll them escape. Them all. I want you guys to know that I do realize that I never actually did check so Don't let them escape. The enemy. After I finished there. He's got, she's got two special guards now. Miracle of miracles. It seems you are well, Erica. In the last thought I spared you, I envisioned you dining on insects in a remote cavern. Well, that's rude. Mother. But, but let it not be said that you haven't entertained me of late. Not only the neutral kingdom of Cygnus, you even won the hearts of Forge's beast kind. I dare say I would be impressed to look only at your results. <sighs> But hasn't the charade gone on long enough? Let us bring down the curtain. I will absolve you of your crimes if you return to my side. Oh shit! Cygnus and Forja will be raised for their treason, of course. Pretty sure shitty treason doesn't apply if you're dealing with outside nations. <sighs> Protea, I command you to step down from that throne this instant. Excuse me? Do my ears deceive me? Protea! Step down from that throne from this moment forth. I shall lead this country, and I shall do so from that throne. I hereby bear all responsibility and power as Queen of Granorg in your stead. Silence, wench! You dare presume to speak to the Queen of Granorg in such tones? The penalty for such a crime is death! Your Majesty, are you safe? Oh, do we finally get to fight Selvan? Because I'm going to kick the crap out of this guy. Selvan, you fool! Don't just gawk at them! Seize these insolent miscreants! I will see to their beheadings personally! I don't think you understand your situation. You've lost. To Cygnus, Forja, the Resistance, and to Erika. Nonsense. My army is invincible. Well, that's I believe good. Selvan will tell you otherwise. Impertinent nay, Selvan! Why have you not silenced these fools? Hmm. Selvan? I'm afraid it's time for you to be silent, my queen. What? Have you truly been so blind? Diaz and I have held you aloft as little more than a well-strung marionette. <laughs> Though you are hardly as competent as a puppet. Look at this disgraceful state. Your usefulness has expired. She is yours to do with, as it should please you. Well, I wanted to kick crap out of him, but... What is this madness he speaks of? Selvan must un understand as well. The Granorg that they nourished has come tumbling down. And the only one still unable to see it is you, Protea. You're the only one who cannot admit defeat. Clinging to... Be silent, you insidious wench! I will not accept such falsities! I am Protea the Exalted, ruler of Granorg! No! Ruler of the entire world over! All shall bend to my royal will! Now, my servants, slaughter these wretches! 
The one who brings me Erica's bloodied head will be made my new general! And a new dawn for my kingdom will rise! Kill my daughter and our kingdom will rise. I won't lose. Alright. Huh. What's the best way to deal with these guys? Let's uh, push assault. Let's get these two away from the front. I think he might be a bit OP. Why do you say that? I use guard up. Now's my chance. SG for us. Oh, dude. That guy's taking zero damage. What a piece of shit. How about this? Oh, no, you're not. Bombs away! Ah! I used guard up. I think I have the best armor I can get in the game for these guys up to this fight, possibly. We did it somehow. abandoned you with such harsh words come back. You're screaming in vain. <sighs> and I shall have Dios. Where is Dios? It seems he has no intention of coming to save the day. I think it's time for you to admit you've been abandoned. Why? How could this have happened? Selvan already said you never should have become queen. <sighs> now, it's your turn. No! Stop! What are your demands? Is it riches you seek? How much would satiate you? I don't, don't work for money. The only thing I want is what's right there. Under you. 
What? Surrender the throne so the one who deserves it can sit upon it. There's something I'd like from you as well, the instrument of flux. Give back the Ethereon. Well, it may be only a beautiful gem in your eyes. To me, it is a relic of the utmost importance, passed down through the generations. I would Very think. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll do as you say. Your reign is over. History is no longer yours to shape. <sighs> Why are you still here? I don't care where you go, but get out of our sight. <laughs> Erica. If you're ready, come to the throne. Yes. Stock's like, I always did want to fuck on a throne. Now that the time has finally come, I find myself standing in the shadow of doubt. I'm not certain I am fit to sit upon such a grand throne. No. It's worthy of you. I was able to keep my promise. Uh, yes. Yoo-hoo! Princess! Is Princess Erica safe? It's King Garland! And things outside have been settled, too. So, it's finally come to an end. Thus the Battle of Grenorg that would decide the fate of the world had a victor. Queen Protea abandoned the throne and fled. And there was no trace of Dios or Count Selvin. The remaining soldiers laid down their arms and Grenorg army yielded to Cygnus, Cygnus and Forgia. Things have really cooled off outside. The enemy is ready to call it quits. My soldiers and the Gutrals are on standby at the gates. Is that acceptable? Of, of course. From now on, the people of this world must stand side by side. That will be the ideology of the new Granorg, as well as my own. The new Granorg, eh? I'm already looking forward to it. Hmm? Is something wrong, Stock? No, it's nothing. He led you to that throne with his bare hands. He's probably just taking it all in. I cannot thank you enough for what you have accomplished. The only reason I am on this throne today is because I had your support. I only did what I needed to. Congratulations, Erica. Thank you, Stock. Ah, oh, yes. Actually, there is something I'd like you to have. Please step forward. This is for you. Hush, give me the Ethereum. The Ethereum? Are you... Sure you want to give me something so important? That stone is worn during the ritual to, to ensure one's safety. When mana is breached, the caster's own mana is drained until they are turned to sand. The Ethereon is what protects the caster from the mana breach. So, as long as someone has the stone, they won't be turned to sand. If that's the case, you should keep it for the ritual. No. I have this feeling that you need the Ethereon more than I do right now. Besides, it isn't necessary for the entirety of the ritual. That is why I'm lending it to you. When you no longer need it, you can return it to me. Guys, remember we needed this for the alternative right. timeline. If you say so. Thank you for accepting it. May the Ethereon's blessing be with you always. Now, if you would all please excuse me, I must prepare for the ritual. Stock, I will see you later. Right. I'm gonna go check Cygnus to see if I missed any quests. I think this may be on track. The things may be on track here in this timeline. But the one wielding the Brack Chronicle is still out there. If he's going to make his next move, it'll probably be in the other timeline. You've returned, Stock. It seems the Black Chronicle's power has been extracted from this timeline. For now, why not see how things are in the other one? Tis the goal. I suppose Nemesis has found a new job for me. Just in case. Yes, and we're going to go check out the Dunamis. That made things ten times worse. Oh, I'm actually curious of who the end boss is going to be because we... I assume Hugo at this point because Hugo is the only one who... Uh, is really standing there. Oh, I guess Heiss as well. He kind of fucked off after a while. We haven't heard much from him in a long time. Oh, perfect timing. I've picked up a reading on a new artifact. It could also be something from the Old Kingdom as well. This reading is coming from the Aitola Wasteland, which is being torn asunder by ferocious battle between Cygnus and Granorg. Head there, in there, and find the artifact. Ready for your next assignment? 
I haven't got a chance You're to heading to the Atolia over. Wasteland in the next world of possibilities. I've tracked the artifact to the dead center of the battlefield between Cygnus and Granor. Hmm. A place like that will make it difficult to locate the artifact, no doubt. True. There's no telling how it will manifest itself. But I have faith in your skills. <sighs> Easy for you to say. You get to stay here on this fancy boat. Yes, well, be careful out there. Okay, so I haven't actually done a lot of exploring of this place in the other timelines, so maybe we can find some new treasure on here. Because as you saw earlier, I actually fucking missed the treasure chest. Heist is just dead in the ditch. He got shanked on his way to see Hugo. Well, that sucks. All right, let's hold off the Oz up north. <laughs> Our surprise will be showing up soon. If I remember right, the plan was to use the Whirlwind to dive Dios and his men off. So the Whirlwind is nearly... Where the hell is the Whirlwind? I'm sure I read the signs right. In the original history, the Whirlwind came and ravaged Dios's forces, helping us to victory. It's possible the Artichact is keeping the Whirlwind at bay in this world, though. This is bad. My apologies. I got very bad news, King Garland! The Grand Org Army has surrounded us! Damn it! Hey, Doc! I'll hold off the south. The north is all yours. Understood. Yeah, the north is all yours. Hey, right here. Damn. All right. Let's get some fight on, yo. I stand in the ditch. Sorry, uh, I'm looking for treasure right now. It's entirely possible I just fucking missed it entirely, so. Uh. Mm -hmm. That's. Fucking. See? I knew I missed stuff in this place. It was a scroll. That might be one of the ones for Rainy. Or it might be one of the ones for, um. Ott, because she poisoned people too. You. See? I told you I missed stuff in here. You look vexed, King Garland. Sorry to disappoint you, but your puff of air isn't coming. Oh, we finally get the right deal. I need a whirlwind to kill you with my own hands. Hope you came ready to meet your maker. Impertinent worm. This is where you die. When I'm done with you, you'll be dust in the Atolian wind. Is Garland Stock's dad? No. That's. Slow minded vermin! Did you really think we would fall for some petty trick of the wind? Alamedes! <laughs> I hear my sister to death! Starting with that treacherous princess! Not if I can help it! Shit, I have to fight Palamedes again? Damn, this guy needs to fuck off. It's do or die! So when I first fought Pelomedes, he did 9,000 damage to me in a single hit. Alright. There we go. Here I come. Take this. Thunder. No, he dies in about three hits. Seems legit. I don't know about three hits, but he's not surviving. That's for sure. Oh, he's raising the attack power. You fucker. Oh, no, get out of there. Who do you think you are? Here. He definitely seems resistant to physical attacks, though. One strike. Eat this. 
Impossible. That's definitely possible. Oh, that was a close That's why you one. lost. This is. These rats are fangs. Come, we need to help Garland. Right. I never imagined a worm like you could prove so formidable. It appears. I, I underestimated the might of the desert folk. Oh, well, I got defeated. He ship. Even with his last breath, he still wouldn't shut up. I wanted to fight Garland. the ass. Are you all right? Of course! Looks like you finished up on your end, too. We did. Sickness has truly taken victory today. Pretty much. But we lost a lot of brave soldiers today. We can't march on Granorg till we've recouped our losses and buried our dead. Indeed. Uh, P, it's uh, part of Hagakure. Hag Hagakure. Uh, basically, uh, the way of the samurai, they, um, to, uh, die with your back to your opponent is cowardice, so that's why they back up. First things first. We need to patch up our wounded warriors. Allow me to assist. Red Pinwheel. So, he really did have it. Heck yes. Don't worry about all the dead guys. Just leave them all there. This world's fine now. Welcome aboard, Stock. Did you find the artifact? Yeah. The one who had it came right to us, luckily enough. Here, this is it. Thanks. I'll add this one to the collection. Alright, surely this is going to be a good weapon for Grady. Great okay, can I equip people with they're not in my party? Oh, I can't, okay. It's worse than what I got! Oh, fuck this. It's horrible. Why does this game hate me? They still run away after backing up, right? Yeah, but in the case of them dying immediately... Uh... They'd have to do that. Running away is still considered cowardice, unless it's a strategic retreat. In which case, you know. What? How did it? Why is? I don't understand. That's really, really far over there. Okay, so we got two things to do here. First, uh, we need to. Go over to Was it here? Or is it here? Okay. It was here. Every retreat is strategic if you if you live. Uh, you know, that's that's true in, in, in the way you uh, and I would think, but uh, in the way of the samurai, that's not true at all. Alright. Yes. Yes. Oh, it is a spear scroll, okay. Okay, here we go. I was gonna check <laughs> on next. Anytime you're ready. Yes. Well done. The technique is now yours. Yeah! Poison Blast. Yes. I'm finding more technique scrolls. Be sure to bring them here. Wait, do I have to actually go through that each time, or can I just, like, appear here? Like I said, I'm gonna check Cygnus for a side quest now. Oh yeah, I can just go there. What the heck's wrong with me? I'm pretty happy about that. Alright. So when do I go to Cygnus and... No, oh, that's how so offensive. I think it was actually in this timeline I got a Cygnus.
Okay, so. Will it let me go back to Cygnus? Alright, let's check and see if there's any quests here, because I never did check before. And this game is teaching me something that I should always go back and look. Yep, I fucking knew it. Oh, it's you guys. I wish I could jump out, uh, jump and shout, gotcha, <laughs> or something. But you've caught us in a bit of a rut. We're no good at stealing, and oh wait, I know who this is. Wrong voice. We're no good at stealing, and you're you beat us in a fight. We're supposed to be aces at this, bros. Been uh, in the pits about the way things have turned out lately. How can I cheer him what? up a bit? Maybe you guys could help a fellow out. It's a crying shame to see him like this. Sure. Yeah. That's great. I wish there was somebody to get his spirits up. I'm begging you. This guy isn't the bro I know. Ugh, the desert crows are done for. We're no good at stealing and you beat us in a fight. We're supposed to be aces at this. It's not working out. We quit. Okay. But... Wasn't there a kid in Grand Arc who wanted to know about the desert crows? Maybe he can help out. He was like in love with the desert crows. Pete, do you retreat in real life? Like if something's going wrong, do you just run away? Like you don't want to take the trash out, so you just run away from home? You know what you should do? Challenge your dad to a duel and tell him that if you win, he has to pay for everything you want for the rest of your life. But if he wins, you have to go find a job. And then when he gets out the sword, you bust out your Yu-Gi-Oh deck. You have a quest! Oh, could you do something for me on your way to Scala? What is it? During the last battle with Granorg, I lost my armlet. It's not expensive, but it's important to me. I looked for it, but by the time I realized it was gone, it was buried in the Atolia Wasteland Sand. If you manage to find it, I'll make sure you're properly rewarded. Sure. I'm counting on you. And uh, keep this a secret. It's kind of embarrassing. If you ran away from home, you'd be giving your parents what, you, what they want. And you can't have that. Alright. Fair enough, P. Alright, guys, you ready to go run around the uh, Itolan wastelands with me? Looking for a fucking bracelet? Okay. Well, we'll let you guys know it was not there. So far, it's not here. I don't think Cygnus ever went over here, but let's check this area too. Hey, you should, buddy. Well, it's possible one of these monsters just picked it up and was like, you know what, I like this bracelet. got my bling on. Huh. Yeah. I'll take an all right shard, sure. What if you ran away and lived with Ad? And then when Ad told you to take the trash out, you ran away from home again. 
And when then when she finally tell, uh, found Don't you. Don't let your guard down. And then when she finally found you, you told her about the uh, the green tigers and how you've been traumatized about the trash since then. <laughs> What the fuck is this thing? Guys, don't worry, if you ever run into a tornado, just stun it with your sword. It's a perfectly acceptable way to deal with tornadoes. Don't let nature programs tell you otherwise. They're not as destructive as you might think. You can just cut through the wind and it, 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 it will then acquiesce to your demands. But nope, not there either. My guess is probably in that cave. Don't let your guard down! If it's not in that cave, it'll be on this map. Oh, this is probably in there it is. This seems to be the armlet that Garland spoke of. I should deliver it to him. Yeah, side quest almost complete. I'd be then giving her what she wants, and if she gets what she wants, I don't get what I want, then I have to fight her. Is that how that works? I see you brought what I asked. Hand it over. Yes, this is it. It looks pretty old. I'm sure you noticed that it's a toy armlet. My parents bought it for me when I was a child. But that was their first and last gift to me. That was the night I became him gladiator. Back then, it was quite common for fighting pits to feature gladiatorial combat between kids. Before I knew it, I was another one of the slave child warriors of Cygnus. I needed to keep winning to stay alive. And through it all, this armlet never broke and was never stolen. Now, it belongs to the king. This armlet was the only constant in all of my victories. You, you have my eternal gratitude. Take this. Asuna Watari. Okay. Asan Watari. I couldn't just get rid of it. When I realized it was gone, I couldn't stop thinking about it. This armlet was actually the consolation prize in a lottery. I begged my parents to enter. I wanted the grand prize, a helm, but got this instead. Sorry for asking you guys to go after something this trivial. <laughs> That's exactly how it works. She'll only let me have what I want if I fight her. Fair enough, P. Fair enough. All right, so this sword is quite a bit weaker than what we got. Well, can't say that was worth it. Alright, let's stop our recording here.